Storm Tracker weather starts now with Rob Griggs. Well, welcome to August. We're here, and what does the rest of August look like right now? These are just the predictions. We've got the 8 to 14 day precipitation trend outlook for August 8th through the 14th. You can see the western half of the United States drier than average, although out into the plains breaking even, and not too bad until you get into western Montana and western Wyoming. You can see it's going to be just a little bit more drier than average in some places, and uh, these are the areas right now already uh, being threatened with some drought, so we'll keep an eye on that. As far as temperatures are concerned in this trend, a little warmer than average for eastern Montana and eastern Wyoming, breaking even for western Montana and uh, western Wyoming, a little warmer than average down here, but maybe the, the extreme southwest will catch a break and finally it'll cool down just a little bit. We're probably only talking a few degrees, but every little bit's going to count. Um, I've got to say another beautiful day in Billings. We haven't had a lot of uh, haze from smoke in the area, although there are some fires out there, but we've so far missed that. 90 degrees right now and we've got a northeast wind about 18 miles an hour. That's about the most wind we've had since this morning. Morning. And you can see rotating over that high pressure to our southwest, more of those showers coming in over the mountains. Some of those are evolving into thunderstorms. Portions of Bighorn County in Wyoming had a severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect till just moments ago, and that storm system probably continuing to move down toward the southeast. Uh, Glendive, a 17 mile an hour gust uh, in the last hour or so, 20 mile an hour gust. Glasgow, 23 mile an hour gust at Haver, but you can see those winds aren't too severe, and it's been a little bit windy in the valleys. Not so much out here, though, in extreme western Montana. Montana, where that uh, heat has just been settling in in those heat advisories. Um, he saw us. He said, see that? We were talking about the whole hurricane name here. It's not Hurricane Ned. Uh, he saw, say, say it for Esau Isis. Esau Isis. Thank you. Hurricane Bob, would that have been a problem? Yeah. Esau Isis. That's uh, the hurricane right now. It's not a hurricane yet. It's actually a tropical storm and it's already worked its way through the Bahamas. Uh, by tomorrow morning, we're looking for Esau Isis to hit right here into the southern coast of Florida. It's going to work its way up Florida and all the way up the Atlantic seaboard, affecting weather all the way to Maine. This is a pretty significant storm. Storm surge, flooding, heavy rain, strong gusty winds, and uh, this is where that storm cell was moving there in Wyoming just uh, in the last uh, couple of hours or so. It developed over the last 45 minutes. No longer a severe thunderstorm, but obviously dropping quarter size hail and 60 mile an hour winds and some heavy rain. Some places could use a little bit more rain, but we're probably not going to see it. You see it's very dry out here to the west. It's also very dry out here to the east. Um, and the slight weather disturbances that we're going to be getting will probably just create a few showers and thunderstorms over the mountains. Warm temperatures stay in place. That ridge of high pressure still the dominant weather feature for us in the northwest. But there is some good news. Come Tuesday and Wednesday, that cooler air is going to slip in behind a couple of disturbances. And when it does, it might create a few more showers. Hopefully not too much in terms of thunder storms are concerned, but that's always something we'll see this time of year. But it will cool temperatures down in our area to the mid 80s, just a little bit below average, and every little break helps right now. Esau Isis. Right? Right, Casey? That's right. He's, see, uh, he's. It's, it's like being in phonetics class in high school all over again. I just love that guy. Uh, tonight, we're dropping down to the 50s and 60s. No hurricanes here. No, no tropical storms, anything like that. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to see more sunshine. There we go. Uh, sunshine, temperatures back into the mid to upper 90s, all the way up to 97 degrees for Hardin. Let's give you a quick check of that extended forecast. Again, with a, a scattered shower or thunderstorm possible over the mountains for the Billings area tomorrow, 92, 94 on Monday, 85 on Tuesday as we begin that slight cooling trend, and it stays with us uh, into Wednesday with 85, then we're back into the low 90s. Lots of sunshine. By the way, we dropped down to 64 overnight tonight. Casey?